Hello, boys and girls. Uh, my name is Mike Kelly. Mike at Kelly Town, K E L L E Y Town dot com. In case you want to email me. Anyway, uh, so here we have uh, somebody wanted to see my exact workflow. It's been a while. We'll, we'll do it. It's I've done this a number of times in videos, but it never hurts to do it again. We're going to uh, just do a, a video on exporting Genesis 8 figures and bringing them into uh, to CC4. So here we go. So here's a Genesis figure here. Got her. Got, her, got some clothing on her. And I'm going to go ahead and go here and want to export. And they wanted to see all the export settings. So uh, we're going to, I'll just call it, uh, what is this? Futuristic dress, something like that. So here's here's all the settings. So uh, first of all, I always have visible only checked. You can, you can check mark this or not as the case may be. The reason I do this is it's useful sometimes for hiding pieces of troublesome clothing or, or even items if you're doing a set. You might only want to export some things. Some sets come in with the doors uh, one piece attached to the set, and you can't split it apart even after you bring it in. So I, I hide the door, export it, then I hide everything else and show the door and export it, and then you can you can attach it separately. And I can show that sometime if you like. But anyway, you can so visible or not, figures, props, so you have all those checked. Um, degraded skinny. I, I don't know what these things are do or not do, but this is how I've always had set up so I uh, that's the way they are so uh, uh, include rotational lock so there there you go there then I have include face groups polygon sets again I don't really know what these settings do this is what I've always done I don't even know how I got these settings in the first place to tell you the truth but they're there uh, embed textures binary only and then all of these custom datings are, are check marks so those are the things that are all check marked and the things that aren't checked marked. Uh, the one thing that sometimes happens is you want to have um, export rules, and we've gone over this and other things. If you're going to have uh, morphs that you want to export, you can export morphs uh, for clothing items and for other things, and then actually bring those morphs in. Uh, so you can you can bring those out separately. Uh, we don't have any in this particular thing, but let's say you had a hood that was up or down and had an actual morph to do that. You could export that morph and and include it here. And I I think I've shown that in other videos. If you ever want to see that, I'd be glad to do that again. But uh, so that's that rule. If you have a morph on a character, if for example you've gone into this character and made it older or fatter or bigger, uh, you you can't the morph by default will be exported. You can't do anything about it, and you can't get it separately. And I think I've also shown videos about how to do that, how to create your own morphs from. Uh, I know I've, I've had videos on that. So that anyway, so that's. All you have to do, oh, and, and FXB 2012 binary. So that's uh, that's the one that's suggested to use. I wouldn't try anything else because that's what works. Um, again, I don't know. Would some other things work? Possibly, but this is what we do. So, uh, so we'll export that. So uh, it'll take a little bit of time to export that. Not, not a whole lot, but a little bit. And then the other thing I do, because we have my materials plugins, so you want to use that, is I also save as a scene. Okay, save the scene, and we'll just call this uh, futuristic dress. That's just the, and I've also explained this a number of times. So there's the three, uh, actually everything's checkmarked there, so we just accept that scene. So that's the scene. The reason we do that is we're going to get all the textures for, and I've shown that a number of times. But So now we just come over to here, go to Transformer, and it, CC3 Plus is always what you want to use for Gen 8 figures. If you have a Gen uh, 1 or, or Gen 1 or 3, you can use CC3, but CC3 Plus is for Gen 8 figures. And we go to Futuristic Dress. And uh, we've already talked about things that go wrong. If you don't get this box, if it says, oh, there's something wrong, then I've, I've covered that in a number of videos about what you do. But in this particular case, there's nothing wrong. We always want to choose advanced. If you, The only reason you'd ever want to choose basic is if you just wanted the morph on a figure. In other words, you, you made the figure fat in Daz, and you wanted to save that morph to use that fat morph inside of uh, CC4. That's the only time you would ever pick basic. All the other times you always pick advanced. So it's too bad that that doesn't come up by default. But anyway, that's that's what it does. And, um, and so then we'll go through and take a look at the different items. And then the only time you want to bake the body texture is if the figure itself has a skin that you want to uh, import. 
So let's say uh, it's not the default skin. It might be, you know, many of the many textured skins. It might have, uh, might be a character with makeup or those sort of things. Then in that case, you bake the body texture at whatever resolution you want. Otherwise, make sure you turn this off because it takes a lot longer to bake the body texture when you bring it in. And so there's all the items. Now, uh, I always take off the buttons because buttons are never going to work. I've, I've also covered this in a lot of videos. Uh, so you can remove the buttons. You can even remove them here. You can remove them later. But you might as well uncheck mark the buttons. And then that's basically all it, all it is to it. Um, so anyway, that's that's it. It will take a little bit of time. There's uh, three things here to do. And then it will bring in the textures. What textures it can. It won't bring in all the textures. And again, I've talked about this in a number of cases. So there... There we have the figure. That's about all there is to it. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the council log and we'll run my script. Uh, you'll see that it's going to get, uh, I'm sure there will be, whoops, I did that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> that was weird. Let's go back again. Council log. Okay, there we go. Council log. I'm trying to do three things at once here. Daz clothing. And then you pick that saved scene that we did. Remember, we saved this futuristic dress. And I've discussed this a number of times in a lot of videos, but it's going to go through and find all the textures for that dress. What happens if you don't do that is it will only bring in the diffuse textures. So in this particular case, it wrote 17 maps. What did it write? Well, you know, we can look at it. You can take a look and see what there might be here, uh, if there's any other maps that it might have brought in. I, I really don't know, I haven't ever done this. So it brought in the metallic and roughness. These would not have been there before if you hadn't run my plug-in. So that's an easy way of getting that stuff. So that's really all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. Hope this helps you guys, and hope you have a great Father's Day for those of you that are fathers, and I'll see you around.